The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Today's Gospel, this parable of the sower uh, of the seeds, who scatters the seeds in all different places and at all different times, in the in the ears of the uh, ancient hearer, the, in the uh, ancient world, um, this story, as, as serious as it might sound to our ears today, we might just take it at face value and just kind of think, oh, it's about farming. Um, but this parable is one of those few examples of parables in our gospel where Jesus is trying to be a bit funny, comical. Because in the ancient world, it, it would have been very, very kind of strange at best to consider God to be a sower, a farmer, and to be a very bad farmer, a bad sower, because a good farmer would never have wasted the seed, which was so precious, was a sign of virgining life coming forth, life coming for, forth. They would never have just thrown it anywhere, only on the riches of soil. And so, you know, they would have, they would have thought this was the funniest story. You know, to think God's a farmer and not a really good one. But then they would also, like we today, would have got to the heart of the story. That the kingdom of God is cast out everywhere. In fact, it's already here. And indeed, sometimes it just doesn't take root. But that God, our farmer, our sower, continues to throw out the kingdom, the reign of God. Regardless of where the, the kingdom lands or comes to birth. It's interesting to show, too, and see that at the end of this story, regardless of where sometimes it hasn't been fruitful, we are told here that when it does land, and it does bring forth a crop, it yields what it says here a hundredfold. That would have been a term that meant infinity. There's infinite possibility when once the kingdom of God, the reign of God, takes root in our lives. That which is already here is the kingdom of God. So today this parable invites us maybe to make and look at the, the indiscriminate and the, 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 just the, the generosity of God who just keeps on giving. Even regardless if it seems maybe in our human vantage point to be pointless. But God just never gives up. And so we too are asked to persevere. To open ourselves to the kingdom of God. To let go. And really enter into the reign of God that is planted in our lives regardless. And our gospel today invites us to see that God who is just so generous. Generous with forgiveness, mercy, and the very reign of God. 